Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Mutualix. I'm your host Kozlix. Today I'm teaching you how to play Moogie in Brahalla, the new legend. This video we're going to be going over all the signatures, some combos you kind of need to know, and also how do you play Moogie, what's your game plan, how do you win every single raid match with this character. Let's get right into this. The first thing if you want to improve at a Moogie is you're going to want to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this channel will help you improve at Brahalla. That is what this channel is designed to do. And also if you want some coaching from me, please consider checking out my coaching. The link to that is on our website, teammutualix.com. Link to that is down below. Check out my coaching. Also, I'm hosting a class on how to combo optimally for only $4.99 so check that out or join the Brahalla class if you want to improve a Brahalla and get coached for a very affordable price it's only five dollars for a coaching session that's you can't do any better right so let's get right into this Mugi. the first thing are the stances so the deck stance is pretty good although I don't know the exact combos this creates or doesn't create I assume it doesn't create any or do really anything on these weapons if I'm being quite honest you can still hit there, Delight True, I believe. It might require four decks, so I might pin a comment to clarify if any information about that comes up, but I don't think this deck stance is very good. The attack stance is very good. You get a free stat point, you got nine attack speed, doesn't really matter. I really recommend the strength stance. Speed stance is pretty good as well if you want that extra speed. You know, it gets her a defense. The character's got enough defense. Um, I went to the defense stance because you have a lot of defense already. Also, two speed is not great. Um, and yeah, I think the attack stance is probably the best or the speed stance. We're going to go with the attack stance right now. We're going to training room. Let's head over to small brawl Haven. Let's go over the signatures. How do you use them? We're not going to be going over the, uh, the weapons, like, uh, the weapon combos, uh, just, I, I could go over some really basic stuff, but I definitely recommend check out our ax and greatsword guide. If you want to improve at those weapons. Anyways, let's set this character to reset at the big center of the map. If you don't know how to do this, damage and position reset on. Turn these all on and items spawning off. And then let's give ourselves a great sword. We'll just start it off. Um, just some quick combos if you really want to know. Side light, D light is true if you hit the side light a specific way. Um, come on. Come on. There we go. And end light, D light is true or one frame. I, I believe you can get this true. I could be wrong. It might just be one frame. It might be uh, decks required. I gotta look into that. But yeah, those are the two combos you really need to know on Greatsword. That's kind of about it. And let's go to Axe. And you just need Side Light Neutral Air. That's really the only thing. There's a couple specifically specific Amugi combos you might want. So Side Light Neutral Sig. Uh, this is confirmed if your opponent doesn't have a dodge. So uh, definitely know this. You can get this to one frame if you hit the specific inwards hitbox on that Side Light. And you also obviously have to time it well. There we go. And yeah, that's kind of all you need to know on Axe. Um, one combo that could help is Neutral Light Dash Side Sig. Uh, this covers a lot of dodges inwards and catches people off guard. It's a good option if you're winning the game, but I wouldn't rely on it every single time. Uh, that's all you really need to know with Axe and Greatsword. Um, Greatsword doesn't really have any true combos, but uh, yeah, let's go over the actual Sigs now. So Side Sig is a very quick swing. Uh, that is like 12 frame startup. And it doesn't have a ton of horizontal momentum, but it covers a lot of horizontal space. So this is kind of like a good breaking neutral option. Although that first side sig hitbox, it's pretty big. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. So you're going to want to space that thing properly. Learn how to space it. You know, make sure you understand the range and don't miss like this. You don't want to be missing like that. You want to make sure you're hitting that on the right frames. Uh, let's talk about the end sig. So this end sig is a good little anti air. The hitbox of this end sig is massive, but it doesn't hit grounded. But look how big this hitbox is, and it's like a 360 degree basically. So if they're in the air whatsoever and directly above you, about this downlight, you know, if they're in your diagonal dead zone, neutral sig is your best option. Downlight's good too, but also neutral sig is going to be hard to punish. Like this character has no decks, but there's no recovery frames to this at all. So abuse it while you still can, because you can jump, you can dodge instantly after doing this attack, right? This end sig is broken. Then you got down sig. Down sig does a lot of damage. It's really good off stage, kind of like this. It sends, you know, that hitbox downwards. You can do something like that. And again, there's like little to no recovery frames. So if they're below you off stage, this is a good option. They're not going to be able to punish you very easily. So yeah, directly below. You can get good with the spacing. So if you walk towards the wall and then down sig. You can do this off stage and then keep a really good position. That's really good. You can also slide charge this. So if you want to do something like that and cover the entire wall. Uh, so that's just a dash, a turnaround, 
and then you're down sinking. I kind of messed it up there, but there we go. And that's a really good option to cover the wall just like that. That covers the entire wall. That's crazy, All right? So that's really good. Uh, we've talked about the side sig. We talked about the neutral sig. We talked about the down sig. Down sig again. It's just like a stacked option. One thing about this down sig as well, which I actually haven't mentioned, is it has active input. Kind of. You move. So if I hold forward, it goes backwards. But if I hold backwards, it goes forwards. So if you want to control which way it sends, then uh, just you know hold the opposite way. <laughs> it's the opposite to active input. So it's really funny. There's also, I think it's more because the movement during the attack, like I move backwards or this, I like move forwards. So it's really, you know, it, I don't know if it's active input. I think it's just how you move while swinging the attack. But anyways, let's go to Greatsword. So Greatsword side sig is this big horizontal swing. This thing is really good for breaking neutral. It covers so much space horizontally, especially if you like dash side sig it, it's crazy. And another thing, no recovery frames. Just like some of the other moves, I can jump, I can dodge instantly after it, right? Very impossible basically to punish this attack. So spam it as you will. It's also very good gravity canceling because of how low to the ground this thing picks up. This thing scoops your enemies. So even if I gravity cancel this pretty high in the air, it didn't hit there. But if you're kind of in between the two, it uh, didn't hit there. Let me see. Ah, uh, what? I thought I side sig. Come on. Side sig. There we go. That hits. And look how high up I am on this one. Right? Look how high I am. That's crazy. And then that picks up because it's, it's a scoop, right? So just a really good option. Then you got down sig. This is your stacked option. You can hold this forward. You cannot hold it back like the other down sig. And this is, yeah, it's just a good stacked option. You know, if they want to get stacked with you, you can just down sig. It's also very good because you can slide charge it. And that covers a lot of space off stage. It's very horizontal. It's a lot of active frames. Very good slide charging option, right? Then last but not least, we got neutral sig. Neutral sig is good, but you're not going to be able to hit this thing on stage unless they're directly above you. It's actually really good because it covers a dead zone on Greatsword. Nothing covers directly above on Greatsword. So you have this neutral sig that covers that dead zone. Side sig is even more horizontal. Down sig is stacked. Like, look, there's nothing stacked. That's what makes this down sig so good. It covers a dead zone. Same with this neutral sig. They cover dead zones. So, yeah. Shout out to those signatures. This character is broken. And that's kind of all the signatures you need to know on a Mugi. Uh, you know the combos. You know the signatures. Let's hop into a ranked game. And let's just talk about what I'm doing while playing. Let's go to ranked ones. Let's pick the new legend of Mugi. Ignore my rank right now because uh, I was playing a Mugi earlier today. Um, at the end of a season, like I think I can hit 24, 2500 with any character in Brahalla if I really tried. Oh, we got Snipes. Snipes is actually a top player, top 64 in North America. Top, uh, yeah, something like that. So easily Valhall and very good player. This will be fun. Three, two, one, brawl. Let's try and uh, see how he uses the movie as well. So we're going to wake up side sig. Doesn't really work there. A little risky because it is a wake up. We don't want to... That was a dumb side light. Almost. Yeah, really good horizontal option that side. Okay, I, I walked into that. He didn't even punish that properly if I just dodged it. Nice. Okay. I'm going to focus up. I don't want to lose this. I actually want to show you guys how to use this character well. But we are playing ranked against a pretty good opponent. So, no dodge. I should have just side light end sigged if I'm being quite honest. No dodge. That's confirmed. Almost. See how hard it is to punish some of these? Crazy. And yeah, that wake up can work sometimes. Just be careful with it. That was a really bad dare for my part. That was a good downlight on his part. Okay. <laughs> and then watch this side sig is just super, super lethal. Oh, that was a good down sig. I'm mean, gonna probably use a side sig or something just to get the skill. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring this one back. But you can see it's using the signature as well. To be quite honest with you, you don't even need combos with this character. I cover the wake up. I almost got that. Uh, 
That covers the stack dead zone. I'm really good down to just cover stack. And we're already back in this game, just using the signatures how they're intended. No. Okay, covers out that zone. Stacked. Horizontal. Above. Above, no. Horizontal. He's above me. <laughs> and we take that dub. I should not have won that. <laughs> and that is how you play a Moogie. Um, you know, we're going to do one more just because uh, show him off even more so. But you can see you barely hit any combos. And then you use signatures. And then you win. This character is one of the easiest characters in the game. You don't need to do anything. It's pure neutral. You don't need to be good at the game. You do have to be good at the game. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, if you want an easy character with broken signatures and great sword has a cool combo system, this is definitely the character for you. But this character is also very similar to Magyar, but with better sigs. So yeah, you can keep that in mind. Get that. You can see that that end light side sig is a bit of a check. Almost hit that. Hit that. <laughs> and yeah, that diagonal dead zone gets covered very well on uh, Axe. This, uh, the Axe uh, neutral sig, it covers the dead zone better than Axe down light. So just a really good option. He dodged that one. Yeah, that's a, just a clean punish. Nice side sig. Hard to punish, I almost missed me. Okay. <laughs> you can even like bait with this thing a bit. Yeah, and that just covers that entire wall basically. Really good option if they're trying to recover low off stage. That side sig is for when you're horizontal. Down sig is when you're stack grounded. Side sig horizontally. That was a weird clash. Horizontal. Okay, fair. And yeah, you, you see what I mean? This character is like we're playing multiverses. This is such a broken character. Ooh, lag. Almost. Almost. Like literally all we need, side light and sig ah. Oh. Yeah, if they got no dodge, it's confirmed, but he had a dodge obviously. I went for some stuff. Okay, let's not lose this. Clean. Doesn't kill. This down stick is clean. Oh. And you could, yeah, GC it too. Hard to punish. And I hit, it went like low and he jumped into it. We'll take it. Broken signatures. You need to spam the signatures to win. Um, yeah, GG Snipes. That was a fun, fun match. And I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you improved, then like, subscribe. Please consider checking out my coaching and check out the Burhana class on teammutualix.com. I'll see you later. Peace.